Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today in Solo's Monster Analysis video, we're going to be going over Killamancer, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not he is worth getting out of the Legends Pass. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Killamancer is a denier, and his traits are at rank 0, Resurrection Block, and Team Possession Immunity, and then at rank 1, he gets Trait Protection, and then at rank 3, Torture Immunity. Torture Immunity is definitely his best one, that one is amazing. The other two are okay, but they're not, like, really that good. But yeah, his rank 3 is very good. And then his rogues are Staff and Mask, which are both pretty good. And then if we go on down to his pros and cons, he has decent support move in Nephiel. He also has access to Nightmares, Nanovirus, and Stamina Leak, which are all very good. He also has a move that bypasses Dodge Area, which is really cool. And then he has a nice speed and relics. He's got low cooldowns and stamina costs. And then he also has a metal and a light meta, which is pretty great. And then his cons are dark and a light meta and very situational hater. Only possession for denial. No PER or TD access, atrocious life, situational trait except the status caster which is really good, torture immunity is just a status caster so they can remove it very easily, and then he is easily denied by everything except possession since he only has possession immunity. So yeah, all of those cons are kind of big, a lot of them are really really big, like the no PER or TD is kind of big, and then also his status caster being a status caster and not a trait is really big, so they can remove that very very easily. And yeah, it's just very easily denied as well, and he only has possession for denial, and he is a denier, which is kind of a problem. But let's go down to his moves and see how much of a problem that really is. So he has a 50% stamina restore with Team Celestial Paradise Hater, which is okay. He also has a Nanovirus and Stamina Leak, which is pretty good. He has a Possession and AoE Possession, which is pretty good. He has a Single Target Possession and Nightmares, and then an AoE Nanovirus and Stamina Leak. So he does only have one AoE Possession, which is kind of bad, and that is, of course, his Deny thing, and he is a Denier. So yeah, just kind of bad that he only has one, but I guess that's fine. But yeah, his moves just aren't really that great, honestly. He is inside of the free Legends Pass, though, so you should definitely still try to get him, but don't bother with using him on your team or anything like that and yeah his traits are okay try to get him a rank three if you can because that would make him the best that he can be but he still wouldn't be that good and just keep that in mind if you want to use this monster so yeah that is going to be it for this video let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this monster killamancer right here and i see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye